Namaste. Today's video is about the content change in social science 2024-25. What the NCRT published a PDF. It tells about some changes. Let us see the changes in geography that is contemporary India. So in the chapter 3 water resources page number 21 Adal Bujal Yojana or Adal Jal Yojana yes. uh, Adal Bujal Yojana that is this is the emblem used here yes let me show you. this is the emblem used in the Adal Bujal Yojana let us see what about the Adal Bujal Yojana. Here it implemented in 8220 water stressed Gramma Panchayats of 229 administrative blocks or taluks of 80 districts of 7 states. So Adal Bujal Yojana or Adal Jal Yojana it has been implemented 8220 water stress le, Gramma Panchayats of 229 administrative blocks or taluks of 80 districts of 7 states. How these 7 states have been selected? 37% of the total water stress. Le. This uh, states 37% of the total water it is stressed. Le. That means over exploited, critical and uh, semi critical. Which are the states? Uh, that is uh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, let me say the order, let me see the, yes, Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan and Gujarat. And these seven states, uh, this uh, uh, project has been implemented. And key aspects of Adal Bujal Yojana is to bring in behavioral changes in the community. There is their behavior, behavior should be changed regarding the consumption of water, attitude of consumption to conservation and smart water management. This is according to Jala Shakti, uh, that is the annual report published by the Government of India 2022-23. So that is one thing I added in the Geography textbook of class 10. Then we can see in the geography itself, Pradhana Mandri Krishi Sinche Yojana. What are the objectives of this? To enhance the physical access of water on farm. As I just drawn a farm area like that. Yes, uh, as we know, the um, what about the art will give you more uh, as, uh, visual appreciation as you are giving more water this area enhance physical access of water on water on farmland water on farmland expand uh, cultivable area under assured irrigation so you can uh, yes, you can expand the land area so for first one is access of water on farmland area and expand the land area assured agriculture yeah. this is har ketko pani Har Kopani, then improve farm water user efficiency. How to improve farm water efficiency? To reduce wastage, increase availability in duration. Yes, more water should be available. The duration, the months, how many months the irrigation facilities will be available, that should be extended and uh, availability duration and extend irrigation. More area should be, come, should be brought under irrigation. And uh, water saving technologies should be used. So, per drop more crop. Water saving technologies should be used to per drop more crop. Introduce sustainable water conservation practices. Sustainable water conservation practices. Uh, is a lot of measures are there. And so, the water saving technologies are there. Drip irrigation, check dams, afforestation. A lot of methods are how we can uh, increase the water level, underground water level of the earth. So, all these measures should be adopted. 
then page 23 it is about narmada bachavo antholan that is the name has been changed to sardar sarovar project yes that i will also i will just explain uh, the name has been changed to sardar sarovar project then uh, you can see uh, then another one it is written here agriculture fifth chapter it is written really it is uh, fifth or like that here and the page is 65 written in that particular uh, message here you know agriculture that page 38 jute the last line on nylon that is deleted so these are added and this is uh, that is deleted and uh, let us see what about the Sardar Sarovar Dam, it is already there, I think. I am not so sure whether this way itself given earlier. And uh, yes, it is constructed on the river Narmada, that is in Gujarat. But it is covering about four states, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Rajasthan. It is meet the requirement of water in drought prone area and desert area. So the Sardar Sarovar uh, Dam is a... Uh, that project is to meet the requirement of water in drought prone area and desert area and irrigation facilities to 18.45 lakh hectares of land covering about 3112 of villages and 15 districts of Gujarat. That is the area where the water is utilized. Then 2 lakh 46 thousand hectares of land in Rajasthan that is Bamar and Jalora that is written that area is covering the irrigation then 37,500 hectares of land in Maharashtra the importance of this area is that speciality of area is that the tribal hill tracks tribal area there is hilly areas the, uh, we say the tri scheduled tribe people those people who live on the hilly areas that is tribal means so tribal hilly tracks they are using the lift irrigation what are the li lift irrigation that is uh, pulling water pumping water from lower level to higher level that is very difficult task so that is one of the methods how the irrigation facilities have been um, in reaching in the tribal people of Maharashtra Maharashtra so that is lift uh, irrigation then comes uh, 75 percentage of command area in Gujarat the, and uh, entire of command area in Rajasthan is um, the drought prone area. So 75 percentage of command area in Gujarat and entire command area in Rajasthan drought prone. So through this uh, project, uh, assure, this project assures water supply will make this area drawn drought proof drought proof so what about the command area just i have drawn a picture of the no just like like a dam and the from this dam you know how the water is uh, moving from one dam to other areas so the area around the dam is known as a command area so the command area of this dam in gujarat and rajasthan in Gujarat and Rajasthan, that area now it is drought prone and it should be drought proof. No drought at all. That way it should be. That is the aim of this, uh, one of the aims of this project. So that is all regarding geography is concerned. Then political science uh, changes are mentioned there. Yes, political science changes are mentioned there. And... Uh, uh, this one what, what about history one change uh, only mentioned there so uh, that is the next uh, coming video just I will tell you those who don't know just I am telling you this is the yes. agriculture I told you chapter 6 it is written there but it is chapter 4 then manufacturing industries first cement plant added democratic politics then general religion pages uh, is this way it is added then as political part is this way then is nothing all regarding economics is concerned so politics some deleted and some changed and some added that we'll see in the next video thank you all